This is Larry Shover from the CME Group in Chicago with September 12th equity commentary. Well, S&P 500 has had a very narrow but volatile trading range. Absolutely nothing going on in the early going. We came in uh, on the opening. S&Ps were up perhaps two, uh, rallied to about up uh, 2890 area. Now down uh, after the beige book, down about four dollars to 2886. Seems like uh, before that China trade headline hit the news at about 11 a.m. Eastern time, there really was nothing going on. People waiting for the <clears throat> outcome of the hurricane, waiting for CPI number tomorrow, et cetera. Instead, we got some headline that came out that did spark the market, did spark the mood a little bit. Although before that time, there was a lot of like downward uh, you know, emotional numbers coming out overnight, with, especially with Europe. Um, Australia, although Korean uh, unemployment number did come out pretty well. That said, there continues to be very thinning leadership and it's troubling a lot of people. The bulls out there continue to think that um, the S&P 500 is trading at a very cheap valuation. That might be so compared to bonds, but still trading, the S&P 500 is still trading in the 82nd percentile compared to history. Uh, PPI number did nothing today to alter the narrative, although that number was not very uh, encouraging with regards to inflation. Uh, today's beige book number, though, on the other hand, did come out a little bit negative, saying there was inflation in the market. However, that inflation is filtering through more on the input side, which uh, is an, another way of saying that we're not seeing that flow through to uh, higher wages, but higher input prices. Uh, also, uh, the Beige Book made note that um, there were certain companies that they were noticing that were not or were tailing back on their expansion plans due to trade tensions. Again, that did hit the market about four points, but other than that, um, it's been a very, very slow day. Looking for the ECB comments tomorrow, also more headlines from China, and also CPI, which will hit uh, tomorrow uh, in the morning. I'm Larry Shover from the CME Group in Chicago with September 12th uh, equity commentary.